Friday, everyone. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here, and you found weather for Weather Geeks. The Friday evening edition will look forward to a quiet weekend and maybe a few slick spots to contend with out there for tonight. But uh, before we get to the weekend forecast, we will look backwards because, of course, it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride over the last month. We had a severe cold snap right around Christmas, but then the pattern snapped right back to very mild for January just a few days after Christmas. We've been in this general pattern ever since. We had one day back on the 7th that was one degree colder than the average. We'll make it two tomorrow. The second colder than average afternoon of 2023 so far is coming our way on Saturday, but every other day has been warmer than the average by a fair margin. As of about 5.15 this afternoon, we had registered 0.3 inches worth of snow, actually for the second consecutive Friday. 0.3 inches worth of snow at the Youngstown Warren Airport, but the number, very paltry for the month, and we're running 7.2 inches behind average through the first 13 days of the month. All right, these observations are several hours old, but it shows you that we did have some accumulating snow in the expected areas earlier on today from Cleveland across uh, 271, 422, I-90, Geauga, Lake, Ashtabula County, up into uh, Northwest PA, into Erie County as well. A few or a handful of inches was pretty common. And we still have some snow flurries out there. <clears throat> as of this recording at 717, we've actually seen a little bit of an uptick in the uh, scattered snow shower and flurry activity. It's not going to amount to much, but little dustings and candy coatings can still be slick. We're, we're a couple hours past sunset now and temperatures are falling back through the 20s and uh, those snowflakes can have an easier time sticking. We're under a sea of clouds right now, but this will change on Saturday. This uh, thick cl cloud cover will thin out pretty quickly as we get into the midday hours on Saturday. But after starting out around freezing, as of mid-evening, we've cooled off below freezing into the middle and upper 20s and this process will continue over the next several hours. So if you're going to be out and about for any reason tonight, uh, you're not going to see much snow accumulation here locally, but a slick spot here and there, bridges, kind of the usual kinds of surfaces that tend to be colder than others, especially if they're untreated, they could be a little bit dicey. Just use some caution for tonight. All right, the weekend is going to be a quiet one. We'll start with clouds, but end the day with sunshine on our Saturday. Now, as I mentioned, it's going to be fairly ineffective sunshine because temperatures will struggle. Our average high is about 34. We'll stop at about 30 Saturday afternoon. Then a crystal clear sky Saturday night as high pressure nudges in means it'll be even colder. Uh, we'll probably slip into the teens in most of the valley for Saturday night, first thing Sunday morning. But a nice rebound Sunday afternoon with a good deal of sun. We'll see temperatures rising into the upper 30s, maybe even flirting with 40. Even warmer on Monday. This will be a nice start to next week, a Martin Luther King day to enjoy weather-wise uh, because... Uh, we'll have no rain, no snow, and temperatures will uh, make their way into the 40s in the afternoon. Although clouds will increase as the day wears on, this next system will spread rain our way as we go into late Monday night and especially into the day on Tuesday. So in the meantime, we can forecast 30 tomorrow, 17 tomorrow night, but then 39 Sunday. And once we get above average by early afternoon on Sunday, we're going to stay above the average in terms of high temperatures for maybe another five, six, seven days in a row before some changes. You know, one of the reasons why this month has been so abnormally warm in a lot of the country east of the Rockies, uh, you've probably seen atmospheric river thrown around. Uh, that's one way to put it. Uh, an extended jet, another kind of uh, technical term for this. This is basically a, a jet stream that is not very wavy. It's kind of just a fire hose emanating from Asia going all the way across the uh, Pacific Ocean, which, as you know, is the, the world's biggest ocean. It's a long ways. And this jet stream then just guides storm after storm, moisture-laden storm after moisture-laden storm into uh, California and the Intermountain West. And because the, the uh, pattern is dominated by Pacific air and the jet stream is not undulating a whole lot, you don't get a lot of Arctic air coming in from the north. But this will change in time. We're going to fast forward to eight days from now. This is next weekend. You can see there's some changes here. Instead of a continuous jet like this, you're starting to see it becoming a little bit wavy, maybe even a ridge trying to build along the west coast. As that occurs, uh, you're going to see more opportunities for cold to come descending down the east side of this ridge and into the U.S. east of the Rockies. And as I've been mentioning on Weather for Weather Geeks of late, I'm not expecting any sort of harsh cold late in the month, but a colder pattern, yes, probably taking shape as early as maybe the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and uh, lasting for a little while. I don't see anything in the model data right now to suggest that it's a return to the Christmas time cold blitz, but it will feel pretty cold outside considering the uh, 
abnormally warm weather we've had so far in January and we'll continue to have for about another week. Coming up on Monday after the weekend, we'll do a, a review of the first half of winter, uh, December 1st through January 15th. We'll also do our initial February outlook. We'll do a final February outlook, of course, as we get a little bit closer to the first of the month, but we'll uh, take a look into the crystal ball and uh, see what may transpire in the final month of meteorological winter in February. In the meantime, thanks for watching tonight. Have a great rest of your Friday night, a great weekend. I'll see you right back here on Monday.